ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Connect 360 Presents, the People's Cast. I am King Bear in the building. Comedian CJ Trowers. Cheryl K. The one and only heavy duty cutie. <laughs> Hey, kissing. Oh I'm, I'm, gonna start, I'm gonna start cutting him off. I'm gonna start jumping <laughs> in when he falls. Jesus Christ! I, I, I thought about it. I thought about it hard, like a train. <laughs> <laughs> you doing kissing in, dog? Really? That's what we doing? He Why did the LL kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's finish. <laughs> Big the bell. Let's go. I let's promise go. you, we're not we're not taking that into 2024. <laughs> you do that again, I'm jumping in. Next week in the West Coast. <laughs> And ladies and gentlemen, we got two very special guests with us. We have... Yo, yo, yo. It's two. And Jasmine. Boy, y'all worse than Gavin. (laughs) 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 It's two. And Gavin. Hey, that's hard to do. (laughs) It's hard. Yeah. (laughs) I accept that. (laughs) Okay. Okay. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, uh, we got the college kids up in the building with us today, and uh, we we're gonna have a good show. So you guys ready to get started? Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Let's without go. further ado, let's get to it. And we give it back to you, the people. Everybody's week this past week. Oh, I, I was good. I, my plan finally came through. When I told you I was on strike with my children, mm-hmm. when I put the door up, stopped buying stuff, mm-hmm. they came in. I have a ring camera, so I kind of saw what they was doing. They bought a real tree, put the tree up, came in, the house smelled like bleach, they cleaned up spotless because I was about to be ready like how you gonna put up a tree in my house nasty I was I sat in my car for 10 minutes, 10 minutes like wait I don't want to go in here mad but somebody say just just wait and see so I gave it the benefit of the doubt came in it was perfect so they live to see another week wow <laughs> <laughs> the kids crossed the picket line yeah. all right hey I had a, what what'd you say and I was gonna say, wait to Christmas Day when your son opened up that sweater and he's gonna be pissed off that it ain't the uh, cut that he wanted. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't bought any gifts. No lotion. I hadn't bought. No lotion. No, 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 no. This ain't shaped like right. this. No, the right. bottom. Right. Right. No, no lotion. Did, 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 did you not see my list? I sent, I sent the list to Santa Claus. It was very specific. No. <laughs> Gentlemen, baby, baby, that was all that was on the list. No, no, no. So that was my good weekend. Sorry, I accomplished what I needed to accomplish. Okay. Yeah, monsters are, Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, monsters are miss work. Sorry, I haven't got it. No tickets on nothing this time. So oh, work man. back to the crib. That's it. Mm. Yeah, major. Nothing major. None at all. Same old shit. No, no. Like, like your whole, oh, your okay. whole firstborn is sitting up in the room. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> your whole, <laughs> the whole fruit of your loins like sitting in the corner <laughs> like a roach. <laughs> and you, you, you can't say that. <laughs> You can't say you were my walking ball sack. You can't. <laughs> nice. Hey, don't talk about gloves is off. Gloves is off. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 I'm glad you said that. Oh, we got good job. I'm glad you said that. We got some questions for you. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Oh, my yeah. first one came home. <laughs> she surprised us and came home. Okay. So All right. At home, chilling with us today with the, with the nice. daughters, with the family. So that was good. And your son, good buddy. What? You said the daughters. You didn't say son. I said my 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 daughter. First born came home and so hanging with me and, and my daughters and my son. <laughs> it's your son. Being queen of technicality right now. Yeah, like she's that like shit. I'm and my body. son. 
Let me go ahead and swing the mic over here so we can hear. <laughs> <laughs> really? need it this week. <laughs> you thought she was fucking out of there with me. You better get it when you hey. get back to the house. Like, she was right. like, she got to stay sharp. Uh, yeah, you fun. do. She is on it. Like, oh, you don't miss that one. It sounds it sound like somebody got 18, 19, 20 years of sassiness that she's ready to get off this oh, week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get that shit off. She got to be honest. She got to be honest. She got to be honest. Man, I'm so what you learning when one semester of college? She got Sassy. Oh, yeah. Really. That testosterone kicked in. What you got, HDC? Man, it was chill. I, I spent my my, uh, my birthday on Saturday. I'm on the big four or five as of yesterday. Yeah, uh, with my oldest daughter. And, um, it was a blessing. Outstanding. How old are you? 45. Outstanding. Wow. 45. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he missed the big four or five when he said it. Huh? Yeah, yeah, what did he say? It? Yeah. 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 You started finding gunshots. I sure was. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get the, the proper send off. Oh, <laughs> My bad. Mm-hmm. It's all good. I appreciate it. All right. All right. What else? You got anything else? What's up? Nah, man, just chill with, 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 with my oldest and, you know, it's just making memories, you know? She's the only one I got right now, so it's it's a blessing. Who's Moving on! <laughs> I ain't even gonna ask that question. <laughs> Like a, like a whole kid got <laughs> wiped out? Okay. <laughs> hey, the other kid got hit with the Thanos snap. <laughs> it got dark quick. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not. Well, I'm not trying. Damn. <laughs> Big sleep, what you got? <laughs> Don't know if I can top that, but... <laughs> <laughs> hey, jeez. We um, actually yesterday it was it was a good week, but yesterday we um, we were able to have our employee um, Christmas party. So it was it was it was cool. You know, we didn't we didn't do what we usually do and get obliterated. We actually nobody drank, which was you know it was alright. But from what I can tell, there was a lot of uh, secrets of the dry cleaning industry that was spilled during the day. Made, made some people uncomfortable, which was dope. And but everybody everybody had a good time. Um, tamales was had, a lot of beans were had, a lot of Spanish was spoken. Damn, I didn't understand. Oh, this. <laughs> Whoa! All right. When I start shooting at you, when I start shooting at you, hey, when I start when I start shooting at you from me, Rosa, I don't want I don't want to hear. Hey, let him let him live. Oh, that is <laughs> you said tamales, but no, nah, it was it was great. It was it was a good it was a good time. Yeah, but, like I said, but busy productive week. But that was that was the it was a good topper topper for the week. Outstanding. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. Well, for me, um, fairly uh, it was a great week. Uh, Running the mill outside of you know I got the same thing that community CJ trials got. My offspring is uh, in studio with us today, so um, all the way from from the West Coast, and um, and my is, is that is that really the West Coast? Yeah, Northwest. Northwest. It's the West Coast, dude. It's the East Coast. Yeah, that's the West Coast. Georgia yeah. is the East Coast, though. Uh, and, and t- yes, but is it? It's the West Coast. Yes, <laughs> dude. Cali doesn't own the entire West Coast. It kind of does. It kind of does. It kind of does. Just like New York owns the whole East Coast. Nah. Say everything outside of New York, the South. <laughs> oh, nah. hey. Hey, uh, two's over here typing right now with a mad face, so you about to see your credit score go down. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely about to report you, sir. <laughs> keep, keep fucking around. <laughs> <laughs> my dad, my dad, what's the matter with your head, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> For real. Um, outside of that, uh, my youngest daughter is um, making me jealous right now, literally as we speak, because... She's down in in Orlando, loving Universal. Um, her and her boyfriend, um, our whole family is avid Harry Potter fans, Uh-oh. and 
He's, he's like the biggest nerd of us all when it comes to Harry Potter. I see that. Like every wow. time I bring up something, he he's that dude. That's not what happened in the book. <laughs> he's one of those, huh? He's one of those. Hey, you hit him, you, you hit him with a, what is it? Avada Kedavra, what is it? Avada Kedavra? That get a dick hard up. Avada Kedavra. <laughs> But I mess with the family. I say I always say it's abracadabra. That's the killer curse. Everybody get hit with the abracadabra. But um, yeah, I know, like straight nerded out on y'all. So yeah, <laughs> I've never watched Harry Potter. Me, me, me. Like, what the fuck you talking yeah. about? Hey, man, it's, I was it's, listening to, it's funny because I was listening to a podcast this week, and they they went off about like twenty minutes talking about Harry Potter, and I did the same thing y'all did. I'm like, this is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I am an old man listening to these other yeah, grown people talk about Harry Potter. This is ridiculous. Uh -huh. Hey. But I saved that. I saved that about a cadaver. I was like, "Yeah, Bear gets to say something stupid. I'm gonna hit him with that, and that's gonna get his little dick hard." It would have definitely got my attention. I'd be like, <laughs> "Is it the Dark Lord?" <laughs> um, nah, but um, you know, it was. It's his first time going down there. And as much as a fan as he is over to Harry Potter, he gets to experience the whole universal of it. So, you know, I'm envious and I'm, I'm happy for him at the same time because my first experience, it was mind blowing. So for him, I know it's going to be insane. Um, other than that, you know, it's been living and breathing, getting ready for, you know, the season that's that's among that's upon us. Um, other than that, you know, business as usual. Wake up. Do work, go to sleep, all that good stuff. So, uh, young college kids, y'all got anything to say? Mm -hmm. Living. Don't be shy now. Just living. <laughs> Just living. Trying to. Oh, hey, I, 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 have a, I have a geography question since since two is over there looking up. Uh, oh, looking up is a part. West coast of the United States is a term that refers to the states of California, Oregon, and Washington. Ain't get a white man who just got denied for a long look. Like, what? <laughs> What's your rebuttal? <laughs> hey. First of all, my question wasn't even for you. Wow. Can you see they try you were there laughing a little bit too hard? Hey too. Can you uh can you look up where the Dominican Republic is located? Alright, we're gonna keep this <laughs> well, you got one in front of you, bro. No, I'm saying don't look it up. Oh, don't look it up. <laughs> don't look that shit. Hey, I thought since we was doing geography, we want to know where the source was. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, now we got that out the way. Now we're going to get into the show. So, everybody ready? Because mm -hmm. here comes the topics. All right, let's get it. Ladies and gentlemen of Blue Table, when is it okay to go in on your in-laws? That's a good question. Like cuss them out type thing? Cuss them out, be ready to fight. They don't know boundaries. Well, CJ is going to be the expert on this one, so well, I'll let him go first. <laughs> Damn. Why? You don't have in-laws you ever got? You didn't get along with? I got no in-laws. You have no in-laws. You have in-laws. You have in-laws. You got this nigga playing inside the sense. She right. Nigga, we know your story. Stop it. You have in-laws. Hey, that's the big semantics, man. I don't got them now. No, so so seriously. So uh, say you have in-laws and when, you know, not everybody gets along with their in-laws, and some people do. But regardless of, of how the relationship is, if they cross any type of line, when is it okay to go in on them? Like, if you got to like curse them out, call them out their name, be ready to fight. Right there. Because it's something that they did. But what is that thing that would cause you to go to that level? Ooh, I got one for you. What you got? I think it would be you know what? Never mind. Go on, no, 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 no,
CCJ, you asked for it. I was going <laughs> to. Why gotta be about me, nigga? You my in laws. I tried to stop it. You asked for it. Jesus Christ. God. Fine. It should be okay to go in on your in laws when they spray doo doo water in your face. You should be okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, I missed something. Yes, you missed that episode. <laughs> <laughs> you should be able to go in on your in-laws and get to spray a doodle water in your face. When they call you over just to spray doodle water in your face, you should be able to go in. Oh, are you going to tell me or should I? I missed that episode. Like, yeah, you missed that episode. Okay, real, real quick. No, All right, like, that is it. Right. No, so, no, CJ, CJ, CJ Charles, CJ Charles went to pick up his his kids from the in-laws' house. He and tell the, story. They, no, the no, kids no, no, came no, out. No. They no. came out and said, Daddy, help me. Help me, help me. And to be a CJ Charles is like, what's going on? Dude. They said, uh, Pappy or Granddaddy is dying. He's drowning. <laughs> so to be a CJ Charles <laughs> runs up in the house like Superman. Okay. And his uh, the in-laws is stuck behind the toilet uh, after somebody went to the bathroom and flooded the toilet and do the water spraying all over the bathroom. So, <laughs> so comedian CJ Charles is like, hey, what you want me to do? He said, hey, go up there and put your hand in the, in the way <laughs> to stop the doodle water. And comedian CJ Charles ran up in there and he tried to do it and somebody else doodle water was like spraying in his face. Ain't no damage. And then <laughs> I, I asked you if you wanted me to tell the story, dog. I ain't never heard this story. Yeah. Oh, you ain't heard it? Yeah, your dad. Yeah. He, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your dad's a superhero. He's yeah. a superhero. He, he has some stories for you. It didn't go that way. Hey. Okay. It did not like that. Not but like that. It went exactly like it that. Was like it was like no damn doo doo in the water, I'm pretty sure. But no, anyway. You pretty sure. I'm, I'm That's sure. doo doo water to pee. Are you going to listen to the story? You're going to keep chiming in. No, listen. So, he's trying to. Got it! Got it! <laughs> 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 Can I hit you? I gotta, no, gotta reset this shit all over you. <laughs> hey, so going into the hey hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, before you start the story real quick. Uh oh. Huh? <laughs> And he's out. <laughs> Here you go. What happened? So you don't even know what you're trying to say no more. Let me say it, because yeah. I gotta fucking go wait till I'm. Alright, so I'm going, the kids are coming out telling me that their grandfather is. What is flying everywhere? I go into the bathroom. You know, they got a big house. So he's in the uh, main bathroom, main or whatever. Uh -huh. So I go in there, there's water all on the floor. Okay. And I'm like, you know, he wears glasses. So now there's a chance. He's talking to me, but is he talking to me? What is hitting him in the face? Hey, you just added that part where he was wearing glasses. You ain't always that. been wearing glasses. I said that. You ain't listen. Or you just like you? Y'all was in. Y'all was enamored off, with the, the water. Y'all was enamored with the water to the face. So he gets shot in the face by water. Right. Out the toilet. Out the toilet. Out the toilet water. He was shooting out after he didn't use the bathroom. I don't know if he used it. Why else would he be in the bathroom? He was trying to fix the toilet. How was he getting caught? Listen. He's what? trying to fix the toilet oh, himself. Was, oh, he was just fixing it. He was the trying toilet. to fix whatever was going on in the toilet. Randomly. Whatever, Nothing was whatever. wrong with it. I have no idea what was wrong with it. All I know is I'm I'm gonna tell him how the situation happened. Okay. Right? So he's I was told he was trying to fix the toilet himself. Instead of calling the handyman or doing a warranty, all kind of shit, which I learned after the fact. So now he's again taking this shit to the side of the face. He's asking me to help him. And I'm looking at him like, what the fuck? Help me, help me, son, help me. <laughs> I'm like, well, I'm in the face. Why the fuck did you do this? You know what I'm saying? I'm irritated. I got my good sneakers on. I'm pissed because I gotta go over there and wade in the fucking water to them. What you good sneakers on? You take them off? No, well, why he literally that? came to the show with shit on his shoes. <laughs> Did he not sleep at the shit on my shoes? He was he was was covered with shit. It was covered with shit. He was like, man, I still got it on my shoes. It was not covered in shit. Stop listening to these niggas. Okay. There was water. He was a shit. It wasn't shit. There was no poop in the water. He kept back to he kept back to bed and used a towel because he had poop all over him. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, he was in here yeah. smelling like poop. Yeah, exactly. I didn't come here and smell like, shut the hell up. You can't fucking smell like this. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going, he asked me to grab the fucking hose trying to connect it back where the water's now coming from. So I'm, I'm like, what the fuck? I go over there to grab the hose and I can't connect it because, again, 
It's shit, shit everywhere. everywhere. So, right? So he's like, I'm going to go. You say shit, though. Is that <laughs> I never say shit. <laughs> <laughs> you say shit everywhere. I'm, talking, I'm saying shit. I'm using it in the term of this. No, no. Okay. He's using it literally. <laughs> there was shit. There was shit. There was shit everywhere. On the walls, on the mirror. That's what I'm picturing, but go ahead. Not one time. Hey, okay. question. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Uh, where is the the the, the uh, tubes and the and the hoses for toilets? They don't know. Behind the toilet. Is it not in the toilet? Well, behind the toilet. Behind the toilet. Yeah. Down on the floor. So this man's getting sprayed in the oh, face. So it was coming up behind the toilet. And then, oh. So if he's already taking it to Wait, the face, so and he going, he going. You picked over putting the toilet back together. Where the dead? Exactly. He went to go turn up. He went to, listen. Yeah, they play. He went to go they play a bathroom <laughs> twister. So he, he take a dude water to the face, <laughs> and, and, and CJ tries to reach it behind him, take a boy do the water to the face. See, try, that's to, that's get the hose, try to get the hose. Try to get the hose. He went to go turn the, the fucking water, the, the valve off. Turn the water pressure off. Oh, so he completely left the bathroom. Oh, right. So I told you, you that. So now you're the, the only one taking dude water to the face. Try to turn the fucking water. Why don't you tell the grandfather? Let me hold it. Don't. Yeah, he was he was really down there. He was really down there. Get him to it. He was really down there. Why do you swap out? Why do you swap out? Nobody's thinking of smoke. Because he had enough. Nobody's thinking of smoke. He said about I done had enough dude of water in my face. He said, CJ tries to get over here and get some of this dude of water. So you gonna turn the pressure, the water pressure off, and I'm stuck trying to fucking screw this shit on. I finally get a decent amount of it on, and the pressure's off. The water's everywhere. They throwing towels on the floor now. The shit like a fucking uh, lily pad, all flowers, towels all over the place. And I'm like, what the fuck? Why would you? Why would you do it? What were you doing? I was trying to fix it. Why? You have maintenance. You have a mechanic. You got all type of people. Pete maintenance man, whatever you call to, to fix it. Why would you try to do it yourself? Oh, I was trying to save money. Come on, man. What the fuck the mess you been? Look, I got to go right now so to go do a podcast. He was I was just trying to... He couldn't part. reach it. <laughs> <laughs> right. I wasn't going to do I'm it. Like, that's what you're That's what you're supposed to do in sleep set on the, on the other side. You're supposed to poke in the bathroom and go, Yo! <laughs> <laughs> and hey, close the door. You went to somebody's house, right? It wasn't an apartment, right? It's a house. So why didn't you just go to the main main water source? And I don't know. I don't go to the house like that. He, he I don't did. know none of that shit. Well, the, 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 the dad did. He knows. The dad so did. He left CJ in the bathroom taking the doodle water to the face while my he mother, went to turn mother it off. My could have did all that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they could hey, why are you playing? There's a bunch of people. And you went for it. There's a bunch of people in that house that could have turned that water over. Right, but you right. ultimately ended up by that toilet taking that water to the face. And they got to do it while turning it off. Right. You got a face burn. And then the fact that he left. Exactly. And let's get what he was doing. Granddaddy used your kids to set you up. Right. Yo, go get your daddy. Go get your daddy. I ain't got time for this shit. And they would do it too. They would do it. He got played. Like, oh, he got his ass laughing. <laughs> and you walk around to him like, look, all your face. Like, oh, shoot. I don't react to shoot fool. I mean, you can tell me. You can tell me. You can tell me. Michelle Kay, remember we was talking about last week when we were saying that uh, when, when the deed happens, it could have been 20 years ago, but oh. it, in our mind, it feels like yesterday? Yes. Look, look at CJ Charles' face. He's, he's there right now. He's in that bathroom right now. Oh, that's 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 <laughs> There's a couple <laughs> stories he should have took to the grave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty interesting hey, story. Right, hey, I, I, I'm not doing it. All right, not doing it. Mm. All right, so back to the topic. <laughs> so when is it okay? Because in that situation, you yeah. supposed to go ham cheese sandwich on the in laws. Right? Mm. Like well, you should have cussed him out. The handyman for him and left. Yeah. Wow, you better be. <laughs> there would have been all types of mothers and fuckers in that house. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> I would have <Hey>. lost it. <laughs> I, I think I think I would have been there, but I think I would have been one of the people throwing the towels in the bathroom. <laughs> 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 there you go, Dick. 
definitely wouldn't be down here trying to get that get that done. <laughs> you might help me. I am from over here. Comedian CJ Trow's the superhero boy. He ran in the bathroom with the ass on his chest. <laughs> so I got it. He always trying to run into something. What? She put up with a big one, Michelle. She ran up with a lettuce. You are hurt. You are hurt on that one. Got kicked all in face. He's only going face first. But I'm just saying. He's only going face first. Right. The scenario you put yourself in. You don't get a face CJ got a pause himself. <laughs> CJ drowns the head on him. Why you calm the fuck down? <laughs> hey, I know everybody's laughing at you, but yeah, that was funny. You gotta laugh at you. That was funny. Oh, my God. Yeah. All right, y'all, for real, though. <laughs> When is it okay to go off on your in-laws? Other than his answers. <laughs> I don't have in-laws, but I don't have people like You've me. had in-laws. I've had Why are we playing? I've had, but I promise you, they don't get in my business. I'm I'm straightforward. Like I don't I don't do that gossip stuff. Right. And if I feel you messy, I won't I didn't fool with my ex-husband's family because I knew they were messy. So it was like I stayed my distance, so I didn't. But if you came for me, I, I went there because yeah. I don't bother people, and that's your that's your opinion. And I'm over here, so no. Okay, so at what point would it take for you to take it there? You put your hand in my children. You you, you step fair. out of pocket with things that happen in my home that was personal to me or something like that. You just really shouldn't. I would say something, but I would have to address the person, which had to be my husband. Mm -hmm. Don't put my don't put our personal business out there. So I've never really had that problem. Because, uh, no. Mm -mm. Okay. Well, I mean, what's the going on? Hypothetical. Question for you. Would you allow the in-laws to spank the kids if they were disrespectful? Yeah. And they were watching? It's just to a certain extent, because people don't discipline your children like you would. So that's a thin mm -hmm. line. But um, <clears throat> it just depends on what kind of discipline. You don't have to hit my children. You can talk to them. I'd rather you talk to my so child no. or don't put your hands on them. You can discipline. Mm -hmm. Discipline doesn't always have to be physical. You okay, can so let's just say it was physical, like a spanking in the butt. No, you don't put your hands on my children. You can talk to them. Even though what if they wildly? If, like if they at the to, grandparents' house and they're losing their mind, they paint, they writing on the walls, they put in forks in the electrical sockets, like they lose it. I would rather you call me first and say this is what's going on, and then I can assess the situation. But I'm not gonna just don't just automatically put your hands on my child. I'm not gonna do somebody else. I will calm them down and call you and be like, look, this is what's going on. Because that, I'm telling you, people are funny about when you start disciplining your children. You don't mm -hmm. want that type of problem. So mm -hmm. it's a thin line. So you mm -hmm. have to be, you have to really think about that because some people would. I just don't want you to hurt my child. So we have to really. <laughs> in, <laughs> we in, just, in the I, child, don't, 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 don't put your hands on my yeah. children. Like me personally, that's the grandbaby. They love them too. Right. And my, you know, growing up, my dad was the type of person. It didn't matter who our. Um, stepmother was they couldn't discipline us my dad did not play that it was he was if we did something you had to tell my dad you couldn't be that one to put your hand on us at all you hmm. couldn't do that so that's why you know I'm gonna have to think clearly but that's how I was raised so it's definitely a sticky situation mm. just don't touch my children <laughs> Okay, so yeah, your dad was the type of hypocrite that I am. Yeah, because I'm I'm yeah. so like that. Mm -hmm. But don't do it. I've literally told my kids, you leave your kids at my house and they wild out. I'm beating your kids. Like, and none of well, one my oldest daughter, she agreed. She's like, all right, well, shit, beat them. <laughs> yeah, I'm you. You ain't tearing up my shit. But <laughs> but at the same token, you know, when my kids was growing up. Yeah, I, I will. I will raise the house to the ground. Like I'm burning everything down if I hear you put your hands on my kid. So, I, I yeah, I'm a hypocrite. I know it. Not me. What else you guys say? Um, in the Spanish culture, you in the grandparents' house, you in their rooms. 
They brought me up, they gave me spanking. Hey, you the Shrek, they're gonna give you spankings. I know my parents are not gonna kill them. You know what I mean? They're gonna give them that one, one, two, and go to bed kind of thing. So, I'm yeah. all good. Grandparents are fine. Yeah, and see, and I get that too. But remember, the question is, is the in-laws. Like, when my children go to my parents' house, if they wild out, and they catch that beating, they just catch that beating. I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm fine with that too. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know how I'd be if I heard that. You know, my my spouse's parents, you know, put put their hands on the kids. I, I mean, I guess it should be the same, but I I don't know. It's just that I don't know because people would discipline your children a lot different than you would or your family. They would probably. Man, you might hit them a little extra Come on, Steve. I'm like, something. I'm telling them to flip out. So I just, I just don't leave no leeway in that. So we just don't play around in that area because I don't want, I don't want to have to pick and choose. Oh. Well, personally, I don't think anybody going to hit my kid harder than I'm going to hit my kid. <laughs> Cause you do it's, something, you gonna learn the lesson, or you not? You gonna learn the lesson? It's, it's, it's all fun and games. So you bring his ass out here, and you get to disrespect me in my house, and I will whoop his ass and send him home. <laughs> that's that's why I take care of that shit when they was living, <laughs> so they don't go nowhere and lose their minds. But I mean, what you got, CJ? I don't have a problem with it. They 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 yep. my kid once or twice. Oh, you know, big deal. Okay. What about you, Sleep? Um, in-laws be talking, so. I didn't have a problem with my in-laws disciplining my daughter, um, only because from a from a very early age, my daughter knew not to get out of pocket. Mm. So even f- like from like two years, even from like two years old, we're talking like prefer before even walking. She understood. She understood consequence. So she she never really got out of pocket. So there there were times where she was with her grandmother, and you know kids are gonna test boundaries wherever they go. But there was times that she was with her grandmother, and her grandmother had to put it back in her place. So it wasn't like an everyday thing. It was just right. like, okay, yeah, grandma said not to do that. I'm not doing that or nothing like it ever again. Okay. So. so Go ahead, my pa, my pa. No, no, I was just gonna say, I, or uh, I, I think if you, if you, if your child understands that there's consequence to the things that they do, then they just won't get out of pocket. Okay. Now, in a perfect world, that makes sense. Well, San, San Diego is a perfect world, baby. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. I'll see right. you in the next uh, earthquake. All right. So let's. So what happens if? Um, if your in-laws take your mate's side, even though you and them know that your mate is wrong, and they're going hard for the mate, so your in-laws, in-laws take their their child's side um, in in some sort of altercation or something. The in-laws can take whoever side they want. They, that don't mean shit when it comes to what happens in the house. So she can come back with all the, you know, this person agrees with me, that person agrees with me. It, that don't matter. Well, I'm not that talking about the threshold. Right, but I'm not, well, I'm, that's what I'm saying. If it does cross the threshold, if the in-laws come in and tell you, hey, you're getting out of pocket. You know what? She wants you to do this. You should be doing this. And they're bringing this in your doorstep. The in-laws are saying that about- To you. About my- um, Mate, no, yeah, they're saying that your mate is right, even though you know, and you know they know your mate is wrong. You know, that's, say, what, that's when you tell them out of respect for your age. Mind you, I respectfully yeah. disagree. Yeah. Yeah. So I need y'all to go. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so that's the, yeah. that's the beginning of going in. But say they keep pushing and keep pushing. You don't know what you're talking about. Whoa. Again, these are hypotheticals. Like, I understand you guys like to make these shits worse. <laughs> but the answer is not, well, mine didn't. I'm saying yeah, if it did happen, hypothetically. We feel we really had moments where we could clash. And a lot of times they made my mouth get reckless. So they learned to back off. Because are we, we talking talk, talk about a mom or a dad? Anybody. In laws. So you going in and in cuss your in laws out? I gotta, if I if I if I, I got him the lead way to back off that he didn't to see what I gotta say. I, I, I see that key and peel skit happening right now. Ain't no key and peel skit. I go right it, to it. It just <laughs> the way you answered. Did you see the one when they were talking about they would say bitch to their uh their wives? And he said, <laughs> 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 
said, you said, you said, bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Yeah, we had had moments. (laughs) Right. Out in space. (laughs) Yeah, we've had moments. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't gonna be too good those. They already know. I'm reckless. What I say. And I wanted a few son-in-laws they had that actually does that. Everybody else, they'll they'll be timid. I'm not gonna do that shit. I'm gonna say what the fuck is going on. Okay. So. And what happens if you run into that that dad-in-law that don't care about your mouth? He just as reckless. Mm. Are you using the we've seven had, black belts on him? We've had it out. <laughs> but it's it's not, it doesn't go you physical. had it out. It doesn't go physical, but we've had we've had heated discussions. Yeah, father in law know better. Yeah, we've had heated discussions. So yeah. You talking about the belts? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I <ain't some> shit. <laughs> Did you do <laughs> hey, it's not I, me. They I keep putting it by the rim. I believe it. I believe it. <laughs> All right. Anybody else? What's going on? So, so if your your in laws take their side and you know they're wrong and they keep pushing you about it, pushing you. I'm, I'm gonna stand my ground. I'm gonna stand my ground. But how far does that go? That doesn't matter as far Like, would you put some? Would you put your hands on your in-laws, daddy? If I'm not put my hands on. <laughs> I don't know. If, hands if he on like, look, bitch, person. know your role. Now, if he go that far. Right. 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 But I wouldn't mean to have done that. Right. But it'll be I am I'll go off trigger words. Mm-hmm. So trigger words, if some, if I know I'm a calm person, mm-hmm. but I'm listening for no words and you hit I don't know what happened. What I just laugh. <laughs> and by the time I come back, it's like, damn. I, I knew I should have just walked away. Or so trigger just, pictures. Pictures that you off too. <laughs> wow. That too. I mean, you can't deny that either, but yeah, I just don't do it. Mm-mm. Heavy duty. What you gonna do if the in-laws are like bad mouthing you and basically telling you that you're wrong and you need to get back in line and you out of pocket, agreeing with the with their child? Are they gonna get away with that or are you ready to go ham biscuit on? He's trying to answer, but he got to prep. <laughs> he's trying to calm down as if he's been there, dog. Like he's like. <laughs> They have the right to say whatever they want. It's their constitutional right. I have to right to ignore them and not listen to them at all. Wow. I can say title. my two, okay, my two cents. <laughs> what he say? What did okay, Mobile Group say? Mobile, I said, okay, Mobile the King, you ignore him? Yes. Yeah. Okay. They they're not touching me. They're not touching my kids. All they doing is telling me, like, hey, this is what you should do. Da, da, da. I'm like, mm-hmm. Okay. I hear you. Have a good day. Keep it moving. That's it. Now, if they start getting disrespectful, I'm like, nah, you're doing this shit wrong. You're not a good father. That's when I'm like, fuck you. Get out the house. Mm. You know what I mean? And if they say, put me out, nigga. <laughs> Praying for that day. Sounds like a challenge. <laughs> Down on my knees you. every night. <laughs> like, dear good Lord, baby Jesus. Give me a reason. Lord, give me a reason. Sweet baby, I, I nine pounds, three ounces, baby Jesus. In the manger. As, as humbly as I can. You know from previous episodes, I've only asked you for, for two things <laughs> for God to remove my rib, <laughs> bring me my perfect mate. <laughs> And for her father to come out of pocket and tell me to put his ass out. <laughs> Yo, you missed that episode, too. <laughs> okay. You can imagine where he's going with that with the rib. <laughs> I don't ask so much, dear Lord, baby Jesus. <laughs> I just need to get probably hit you with the Modelo, bro. You gotta be careful. I just, I just need to get that rib up out of here and for her father to come out of pocket and one time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. What about you, uh, King? Uh, my, my, my trigger's a lot lighter, man. 
It doesn't take much yeah. for me to <laughs> for me to start cussing people. <laughs> it don't take much. Oh, wait, you start, start snapping. snapping. Right. <sighs> yeah, which you know, uh, all that stuff. Now, if you, you know, if my kids are, are messing up, and you got to do something to check them back into reality, you know, let me know what you did, and let me, you know, let me know what my kid did. Let me know what you did, and at that point. You know the chips fall where they may. If I if I think that what you did was justified, then I'm like, all right, I, I understand. Let me speak to my kid, and then that's when I'm gonna reinstill the the fear of God in my child and be like, you know, when I see you, <laughs> what you want right, showing your ass out there in the street. Um, so if if the actions are justified, if they had to put their hands on my kid. Then it's no problem. I mean, I, I, I'm not going to wild out just because somebody did that. I need to know what caused them to do that. Um, now, Bear, if it's not just hey, let me ask you a question, Bear. I, I, was, I was about to hit you with the Kanye. I'm gonna let you finish. Hold, hold, hold on, Bear, let, let, let me ask you a question. Let's just say. And these are in laws. Still, these ain't like boyfriends. Small. These are in laws. Uh -huh. These okay. are in laws. All right. Okay. So let's just say they're not. They're not in laws. Let's just say. Two is, you know, three, four years old, five years old. Perfect. And, you know, either me or Cliff is watching him, watching him over the weekend because you went on the trip. He came and grabbed our Xbox and jumped on the floor and stomped on it on purpose. Mm -hmm. And Cliff or I gave him a quick one, two on the, on the tush. I'm not going to pop. What do you first, of all, first of all, see, you two used to having girls. Okay, the thing is, yeah. with, with boys, if he did that, you're supposed to knock him upside the head. I mean, you, like, why are you touching his ass, you fucking gay dude? You, like, <laughs> like, we don't go near his ass. Hit him upside his head. Like, I, I'm, that's gonna be the first I'm thing I'm gonna say. Yeah, yeah, five across the eyes. However, okay, you know, okay. I'm, I'm gonna do like you guys do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the real, the real side of it instead of the hypothetical. My child would know right out the rip. Yo, you go to somebody's house. Now, when he was younger, he might have had a little bit extra mouth, but yeah. everybody knew. All you had to say was, I'm going to tell your father. And that curbs everything. <laughs> Y'all see the head shaking over in the corner, right? Y'all see my amen. <laughs> That's all you had to say. I'm going to tell your father. All bullshit stops because he knows it, Ass, ass is coming due. Like it's time to get it. Um, but outside of that, uh, if if it came to that, um, like like I said, it would have to be justified. It would absolutely have to be justified. Now, if you did that and you didn't tell me like you thought it was handled, and then he comes and tells me, C4 at your door. Like we boys, but I. I'm sorry, but I gotta fuck you up. Like, like you don't hit my kid and not say nothing or tell me why you did it. Of course, it. like of course. Yeah. you know, you, you gotta catch sense. these hands. Even if we both end up lumped up, like you got to catch these hands that day. It, it got to happen. Yeah. Um, but um, yeah. So if it's if it's justified and I count you as close as family, then. Mm -hmm. You know, you would already know it, it. It's not gonna come to that because all you gotta say is, "All right, I'm tell your father," and that's a wrap. But, but if you already grabbed the Xbox and threw it on the floor and broke it, that's just an example. <sighs> like if you told me that happened and then that's what happened, well, I mean, he's catching two ass whoopings. Okay. Because you don't want to take pictures of the Xbox. Like somebody owe me an Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but then, like, it, it got to be real. It, it got to be real. Because I'm going to be like, bullshit, and he love Xbox, so I know that ain't happening. Now, if you had a gay station, then I'd be like, well, shit, serves you right. <laughs> he should have broke that shit. <laughs> no, but, um, yeah, I mean, okay. it, it all depends. It all depends on, on the situation when it comes to me. Um, hey. What's up? It's, it's time to muddy up the waters. It's all fun and games until it gets real. Now, to caveat off of all of that, mm -hmm. what if two goes and tells his grandparents, your in-laws at the time, mm -hmm. and says, this is what my dad did to me. And they came 
and started giving you the same one two as in laws by you raised your kid. Oh, that's simple. I, I'm taking the, the, the I know CJ, this. I just want to hear you say it. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking the CJ Trials approach. Hey, man. Man, get the fuck out of my face. Yo. You had one time and you just used it. <laughs> say something else. Shut the fuck up. Shut- Did I say sh- No. I, oh, shit. Say it again. Say something else. Oh. Say something else. Say something else, nigga. What, is, hey. what are we talking about here? <laughs> and, and I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but, all right, I mean, so yeah, we're all gonna be sensitive when it comes to the kids. So, and that's fair, that's fair. I mean, I don't think there's a wrong answer other than, um, well, I mean, they're, they're the grandparents, so they should be able to do whatever they want. I think that would probably be the only answer. I don't know. Um, but let me ask you guys this. What if those same in-laws, away from the kids now, they just constantly break your house rules? Like, just think about how much. Huh? <laughs> they can't come back until they learn. And that's all it's going to be? Like, I mean, nah, break. Nah, fuck, fuck that. Break. <laughs> nah, fuck that. Not just, I, hey, you can go, you not you go to their house? Can you not leave dirty dishes and they leave dirty? Nah, I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about nah. a break. You go to their house and you break the same rules they broke in your house. <laughs> you know, but maybe it's because they don't, you know, it's not a rule to them. So they don't care. Um, then you find some more rules to break. You take your drawers off in their house and you leave huh? them on the steps. Same thing in their house. Let me see how it feels. I'm going to come out I'm going to do the same thing that the before said. That's not going to work for me. What'd you say? Because one of my rules is my green grapes. So if I go to uh, my in-law's house to eat their green grapes, they just gonna be like, oh, okay, we'll just buy more. Right. <laughs> like, you didn't learn the problem here. <laughs> Don't you gotta mess with they that they like the most so they can feel what you feel. You gotta hit them where it hurts. Like how your green grapes, they might like their music. So mess with their speech with you. Hit them where it hurts, they understand the principle. Don't come Leave your drawers on their steps. Oh. <laughs> Take the batteries out of the vibrator. <laughs> what? What the fuck? <laughs> Whoa. Did you hear the evil you know laugh your, after that? How you know your mother in law? Oh, oh, what? Did you just go in your mother in law's drawer and pull her vibrator out? Right. How you know that, sir? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you know where your mother in law's vibrator is at, sir? You check every drawer. You broke the rules. You broke the rules. You check every drawer. You broke the rules. <laughs> you going through to get a warrant for a vibrator? Like, what are you looking for? The vibrator. Hold on, give me a minute. I'm going to find this Bruh. shit somewhere. That's, 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 a little, that's, that's, that's a little too much. 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 What if, what, if get through, what if you get through all the drawers? You just got through all the drawers. The, the, the high tower dresser, the the, 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 mid, the mid waist one that has like 10 different drawers. You went through all the drawers. It's not in there. You still mad? You still looking for it? You going to closets next? And the closet and on the bed. Yeah, you gotta check. You gotta check between anger. You gotta check between the mattress and the box break. What if you grab it? What if you grab it there first? Hold on. What if you grab it and they take the battery out and he says, "Hold on, that's mine. That's not hers." (laughs) Then what? Uh, Huh? Then what? uh, what? what? Now you got a bad doodle on your fingers. I hear you with one of her socks or underwear. What if you go to unscrew the batteries and it starts spinning? As long as I don't smell it. It's spinning and it's in the face. Right. <laughs> Winner! <laughs> she got your network. <laughs> Get an act. Let me say, see, all you gotta do is ask. You wouldn't take the to the face. You sent a cold dildo to the face. You sent the ax to the other draw. Had to go one draw over. Hey, you could have easily got us out of that. Why is it wet? Oh my god, did they just use that? Yeah, that's that's not a good film, I'm sure. Oh my god. Wow. Okay, so 
back to the, the normal side before everybody dirtied it up. <laughs> <laughs> if they just break your house rules. That shit took a dirty Sanchez. <laughs> it sure did a literal one. <laughs> Um, all right, so yeah, so they break the rules in your house. Like, do you go in on them for breaking the rules? Say they break uh, a rule of yours, and you say, "Hey, we don't do that around here." And they're like, "I'm the parent here, you're not." And they turn around and they do it again. Like, do you go in on them? It's amazing to say. So you'll cuss them out for for breaking the rule or They'll disrespecting them. Warm, mm-hmm. And the rest is <laughs> free game go. now, right? Is it? Tug, I'm I'm Captain Petty. After the one warning, like all right, do what you want, do what you want. But when I get to your house, oh nigga. <laughs> hey, remember, remember last week with the. <laughs> <laughs> It is going down. <laughs> I am looking to offend. <laughs> Michelle, okay? No. I, I move far away. <laughs> people don't really come out to my house. I really don't have a lot of people in my house. Cause I'm, yeah, I don't. But in-laws, I'm telling you, I don't have that problem because I, I feel like I set boundaries up for it. And I've never had that issue, really, to where I had to disrespect somebody. But I'm not going to cuss you. I, I, I can get along with a lot of people mm-hmm. until you cross that line. And when you cross that line, it's no coming back. So I really have gotten to a point where I had to calm my anger down and just rethink a lot of things. So it helped. Because other than that, yeah, I will be... Yeah, I'll be a hot mess. But no, I <laughs> going it. off. Yeah. I'm right. and I, yeah. And, and I don't like to do that anymore. So, but no, we have to just sat down. But I move far away. People don't come out to my house, and I don't invite a lot of people out to my house. So, nope. Well, you don't invite a lot of people to anybody else's house either. Nope. Whoa. Shots fired! Shots fired! Uh, Last week. Yep. Mm-hmm. I totally oh, forgot yeah, about that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I've been thinking. Of, I've been thinking about that all week. I got this brand new wow. six pack, six pack of hands <laughs> just waiting, right. waiting to be going. Mystery party. Uh, if it happen again, Joe said no invites. I'ma send out a text and I'm like, hey, this is what it is. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it That's now. easy to say. It's always next time. Oh. Next time. You get an immediate confirmation from me. I don't even gotta go buy new drawers. They just they just on deck. They just go on deck. You gonna fly in for that one? On deck. On deck. I don't even need a carry-on for these, baby. On deck. On deck. Wow. What if they're constantly belittling you or berating you? You know, and they're doing it in the the passive aggressive indirect way. Like something happens, you know, between you and 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 their kid and they're like, oh, I told you he's no good. Or uh, you know, I don't know why you married this one. I don't know why you with this one. But they know you're in earshot, but they're always, you know, saying and doing stuff like that. Do you just let that ride? No, nah, cause my mouth is quick. <laughs> Same here. Same here. Ain't got the ride. Shit, do we know yeah. what favors? Right, yeah. Right, yeah. Don't I don't know. It. My mind right. would just, I don't, I wouldn't know right. how to play that off. You know? yeah. And I'm like, hearing it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I gotta go. From it's, the first one? From the first, first one, one yeah. Thing, I'm already in it. Because mm-hmm. I'm hearing it, and I'm telling you, once I go there, I'm not stopping. Because That's, you keep oh. playing me, and I'm standing there, like, you knew this, so I'm knowingly finna get in your ass. So I wouldn't care who you are. Mm, you going mm-hmm. Will Smith out the gate, no, boy. No, because that's just Keep I my know, name no out your motherfucking mouth. mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I don't comfort people, but don't comfort right. me when I don't right. bother you. Mm-hmm. And I know me, so I don't bother somebody for you to come at me like that. But mm-hmm. when you do, that means you don't give a damn about me. So I'm not going to even give a damn about you and how I come at you. And that's just what it means. All the is off. Yep. King, King Petty. Yeah. 
Don't yeah. make it make it Dirty. weird. They make it weird. You make it weird right back. Yeah. She whispered. She whispered to my wife. I don't know why you with him. And I hear that. I'm like this. <laughs> <laughs> Like, Why you yeah. think? Cause I'm Piper now, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got no job. What you, what you think is keeping her here? This dick. <laughs> and what if, what if the mate turns around and goes off on you because you're now disrespecting their parents? Hey, that's my mother. Don't be talking to my mother like that. Check your motherfucking mom. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I co-signed And that would be... Because <laughs> I'm done. I'm Drop done. Drop that damn hammer. I won't even say nothing else. I, at that point, you, you just pulled a pin, lobbed a yeah. grenade. Yeah. I'm whoever gonna, I'm whoever gonna gets the trap, will get it. I'm my clothes up because I know this is over. <laughs> man. I, can't, right. I promise you, you ain't going to disrespect me like that. And then you allow them to talk to me mm-hmm. like that and you don't say nothing, I'm really going to get on you too. Like, mm-mm. Just one blow thing, it up I everybody. I can tolerate a lot of things, but disrespect is not one of them. Mm. All best is all. Yeah. Heavy duty. What you going to do? You going to know it? They're gonna be disrespectful to me like that. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna sh- shut it down. Just curse them out. You know what I mean? You're not gonna ignore it. You're gonna try to make me look, <laughs> try to belittle me. You turn your like attention. No, not this time. Because now they're talking bad about me, especially, you know, if my kids are hearing me or mm-hmm. hearing them. I'm gonna play that shit. Now, I, I get angry when it comes to that. Okay. Curse them out. And then if the the spouse or, you know, if they start defending the parents and basically gaslight the situation and say, hey, why are you going off of my parents? Like, what? be respectful. Like, do you do you turn the, turn the smoke towards them or do you continue to go oh, off on the parents? Absolutely. So everybody can do it right here. Right? Everybody if you have a girlfriend, a fiance, a wife, whatever it is, it's a partnership. So now you're you're siding with your parents on something that you may not even know the whole story right away. You gotta go, go with your parents, go live with them. This relationship's over. Blow it up. Pull the pin. <laughs> Pull the pin. That's it. <laughs> See, it was Let's fun. Go. While, there you go. See you at the door. It, it was fun while it lasted. Yep. Wow. Okay. We got everybody right. Yep. Y- y'all ain't even got skin in the game yet. Y- <laughs> <laughs> y- y'all got to approach it from a, well, I think I would. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You'll be there one day. Just keep living. Uh, you keep shaking your head. You, you going to be there one day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and the way- I don't include other people. Just me. Huh? I don't include other people. Just me. Oh. For now. Okay. For now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, what did she say? What did she say? That, that one it sounded like, it sound like she said she is the rule, guy. not the exception. <laughs> she said her life don't include nobody but her. So, yeah. I'm sure we all was there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, life was good back then, too, dog. Life was good. No responsibilities but my own dumb ass self. Oh, that was wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, hey, two, two. two. Yeah. I need you to Google the proximity of the Dominican Republic to Haiti. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Stop it! What? I'm, 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 I'm just concerned about geography. I didn't, I didn't even know, I didn't even know the DR was so close to Haiti. <laughs> Stop! Not <Nah>, leave it alone. <laughs> oh, fuck with him. <laughs> Oh man. Okay. <laughs> He's gonna research and find another uncle over there. <laughs> oh man. Alright, wow. <laughs> we really rolling this dog. Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, we <laughs> that was a great show, y'all. So we're gonna get ready to get out of here. Uh hope you guys have a great holiday season and a great end of your year. We we wish you to uh the utmost and blessings and and great future things to come forward. All right, so I've been King Bear in the building. Comedian CJ Trowers. Okay. okay. The heavy duty cutie. <laughs> We're not doing this shit in 24. Big sleep from the West Coast, Pacific Standard Time, no sleepy grande, all that good stuff. The real West Coast. <laughs>
everything above that lane to West Coast. Just saying. <laughs> All right, and our special guest. And so. And Jasmine. And we'll see y'all coming up. All right. All right, peace. Peace.